Hi, it's John. It's the 25th of March 2016 and we're at Shillingstone in Dorset. Um, there's the village up there and there's a site of an old railway line here. So it's out in the countryside. and uh, ploughed fields. People are going to grow some spring crops I suppose. There's a nice farm up there. And they've built a new... Well, let's go around a bit further. So there's the bridge over the railway. Um, and that's naturally a sort of path for walkers and things. And then they've built a new car park here, which is nice. And it's free. And uh, we just we just got the bikes, so um, we're going to cycle from Shillingstone to Sturminster Newton, and then have a refreshment at Sturminster Newton. So it's Good Friday, Good Friday, so it's a bank holiday, and uh, this is going to be the best day of the bank holiday, and. Um, so we've just got ordinary bikes, we haven't got the tandem. So that's uh, Helen's bike, and uh, this is my one. And um, we've just pumped the tyres up and oiled a few bits and bobs, and, um, and then we'll be off. Well, now we are off. So all going well so far. And uh, now we're actually on the railway track bit. There was a bit which wasn't railway track, but it was, it was well a well-metalled path, as they say and uh, a few brimstone butterflies flying around and it's lovely and warm. Hello, good afternoon actually. <laughs> it's Hello. a bit morning. <laughs> Can't be afternoon already, can it? I've got my mobile in one of my pockets. Doesn't matter. Anyway, everybody having fun and it's all for free, as they say. So it's still nice and there's deer out on the field. Looks like a failed crop, this one. Um, let's see if I can zoom in a bit. I don't know whether I'll see it on the viewfinder where they are. Oh, there they are. I've only got the 40 zoom camera today. It's a bit smaller than the new one. And it uh, doesn't matter too much if it gets damaged. Well, I don't want to damage the new one yet because I haven't really used it properly yet. That's the track. There's like oak trees by the side. And you can hear a skylark. I don't think we're going to be able to zoom in on a skylark though. One of the nice things about a railway line is how flat it is, isn't it? Definitely. We've arrived in Sturminster Newton. There's the bikes. That's the um, newish shopping centre. Um, the exchange place. The exchange um, concert hall place. And uh, that's a park where there used to be a railway line. And the Elizabeth, Elizabeth Frink picture. Oh, there's Helen. And it's just checking the bikes or something. There's the Elizabeth Frink. So we've had our lunch and now we're just on our way back and crossing this little road which goes down to Hamoon which is, it sounds a lot nicer than it actually is because it's really only a manor house and a farm and a church and I think you can just see the manor house from, from here. Um, I used to drive it through there quite a bit on the way well it was on one of my routes there I used to 
used to go a lot. Uh, it's always difficult to find things on the viewfinder. There we go. Looks quite well composed. Can't really tell. Someone coming. And um, but this, this is rather nice. Benevolence, I like benevolence. Benevolent landowner. So but it's not bad. All landowners aren't bad. Even though my communist principal would like to see land nationalised. And uh, this hill in the background there is Hod Hill apparently. Um, it's obviously a, a hill fort from years and years ago. It's got a history to it. But I don't know anything about it. I think did we, we walked up there once, didn't we? I know I did. So the, um, the bike is still going well. Somebody said I needed a bigger frame. But I, I, I thought the sort of fashion was to have a fairly small frame and then put the seat and the handlebars up very high. I mean, the seat, the seat I've put right up high and it's a lot, very easy to ride with the seat up high. I, I don't know whether the handlebars will go up higher, but I'm gonna try it. And the gears work, you know, they're just um, great. You know, no problem at all. And the, um, the gears are on the grips. Well, not quite on the grips. They're a bit far back from the grips. So they're just on that part of the grip. So this bit you can hold without worrying of changing gear. But that's the shift grip. Um, so I can't remember how much I paid for it at the auction, but it's on the other video, I think it's only about. It wasn't very much. But the great thing about it is it's got this aluminium frame, so it's very light. And, and uh, you know, it's the beginning of the, of the year, really, the, the outdoor year. So you never know, might do quite a lot of cycling this year. Now, um, artists see things, and Helen has seen these bramble leaves and the what reflection of the light and the light through. Well, it's it's mainly the light coming through them, isn't it? It makes them almost like stained glass windows, and some fantastic reds down here. There's some lovely reds. Oh, I see. Yes, I see some down there. Yes, yes, yes. They're not primary colours whatsoever, are they? They're... Oh, well, the red is a primary. Oh, is it? <clears throat> it's amazing that they've still got that colour, isn't it? Sort of right through the winter. Mm. Yes, because um, frost will kill brambles. Hard frost, but these hasn't these haven't even lost their leaves, have they? So they're a bit sheltered. Mm. That's the track of the railway line down there, isn't it? Which we don't go. There's a bridge. It must be a bridge here. We don't go, or maybe mm. the bridge. We don't go through that. We go over the top. Mm. We tried the bikes out, and we tried ourselves out to see whether we could do it, and we could. And we had a very nice lunch, and fantastic views, and. Real spring weather warmth, which was absolutely great. And now we're back home and um, resting. Right, bye for now. Mm -hmm.